infiltration in Halamshiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. It is a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellen. Bringing the rebel mages into the ranks of your army was a brilliant move. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orléans. Exactly what would be required to get that Imperial support? I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose, Gaspard. Finding him is my priority. Are you serious? That is a grave allegation, my friend. A foreign power meddling now, of all times? I have no doubt this Tevinter is hiding within the ranks of the Elven delegation. They're up to something. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? An elf savage! Oh, make a forbid! This is Gaspard's idea of a joke. It's a terrible predicament. If the Comtesse finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know. Maker, what am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you are looking for? You are a treasure! I cannot believe you found it! You have saved me a lifetime of mortification! How can I thank you enough? Can Gaspar take the throne without the backing? Gaspar never struck me as pious. He must think he gains military advantage with the Inquisition. Is it true the Inquisitor was added out of the fate by Andrasti? Foreigners! Any word from the front lines? My spies said the bodies were beyond counting. 
Surely the Empress will put an end to the war tonight. Pray, my friend. If the Maker does not hear us now, just pray. Too long since I've had any word from Valoyou. It's been too long since I've had any work on Valoyou. Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'll keep my guard up, don't worry. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer staring down Corypheus. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Especially Sarah. Maybe tell her twice. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And Raste watch over us all. I can hardly believe Gaspar and Celine are in the same room. Grand Duchess Florian must have worked a miracle to get them here.
and now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lady Inquisitor Lavellen. Vanquisher of the rebel mages of Ferelden, crusher of the vile apostates of the mage underground. He is so full of it. That's not how it went. Champion of the blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Cousin. My dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Celine. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Let's hope the breeze does not herald an oncoming storm. Even the wisest mistake fair winds for foul. We are at the mercy of the skies, Inquisitor. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Tell me, Evert, how are my mind? Are they in good health? Do they want anything? Papa's perfectly happy in the studio. Josephine! Oh, Josephine! Is this her? <sighs> Inquisitor, please allow me to present to you my younger sister, Yvette Gabriella Montillier. There can never be too many Lady Montilliers and Thedas, can there? <laughs> Inquisitor, I've heard so much about you, but not as much as I want. Josephine writes, but she never tells me anything. Is it true? Rebel mages in Redcliffe were performing blood rites and orgies before you stopped them. Where did you hear such nonsense? Everyone in Antiva says so. Is it true? Of course, every word. Especially the parts where everyone was nude. I knew it! <sighs> this may be my only chance to hear about when Josephine was a girl. Oh yes, as she told you about when she was ten and... Yvette, stop. Fine. Uh, what about when we were climbing the cliffs by the... No. She once told the Duke of... Absolutely not. Hmm. She still plays with a doll collection when no one's looking. Yvette! That's absurd. Absolutely preposterous. <laughs> I'll see you later. Another time. Squire. Without what? He's a she. I asked that it wasn't renovations at all. What a fun close marrying crowd. He fired on the Winter Palace. That's monstrous. Any thoughts on who we're investigating? The Empress is pretty. It'd be fun to drink and kill stuff with Gaspard. 
Briada is friggin' funny. Elves, elves, elves. But it's really a pissing match with an old lover. Don't know the rest, but that explains a lot. They're all lying, but Celine's nice to look at. Good thing we're here to save her neck. Any hidden treasures from friends of your little network? You mean, do any of the servants ferrying tarts between these windy tits hate them enough to give up a stash or two? I'm not saying yes, but wait, yes I am. There's some good stuff hidden around. Keep an eye out. Think I can get you to dance with me later? <laughs> me on their precious tiles? That's a good one. Besides, I don't. That's not me, yeah? Couldn't be me. Making any new friends? <laughs> not likely. I'm watching them watch you. They're all glances and titters. Not sure if they're allowed to like you yet. Pathetic. Back soon. Not going anywhere. That Celine was having Please. the entire wing Inquisitor, did you need something? The, timing is the sooner we track down this infiltrator, Why the better. Why would she do such a thing now? You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know. But they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. We'll talk later. I await your soon. I had hoped to tour the Royal Wing Garden. Is that right? Like the only one to survive the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Yes. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Celine is from her side. Empress Celine is fascinated by mysticism, foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court, as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Selene openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. It sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the Guest Wing. It's a promising place to start. 
I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. Interesting. Well, that's useful. This ball is a waste of time, like all Orlesian foolishness. Let's find the Venatori collaborator and get out of here. Have you witnessed anything noteworthy? Nothing yet. I will let you know. You don't seem to care much for the ball. Orlesians pretend their petty squabbles are a game. Yes, let us treat murder, corruption and deceit as delightful amusements. How wonderful. We are here to save Empress Selene, and it galls me. Why does she merit our protection? The Empire would be better off without her. Gaspard is the leader Orlay needs in this crisis. <laughs> you support the civil war? Of course not. Chaos is what Corypheus wants, and we must oppose him. Were it up to me, however, I would let Selene fall and Gaspard take the throne. He would see the true threat, not spend his time throwing balls and writing letters. Stay alert. We don't know where the enemy is hiding. I'll be watching for trouble. The sooner we leave this place, the better. Mm. The package is in the guest wing, upper room. The one of the garden, statuette. I do adore the heady blend of power, intrigue, danger, and sex that permeates these events. You seem more comfortable with a grand Orlesian ball than I'd have expected. I have seen countless such displays in my journeys in the Faith. The powerful have always been the same. Only the costumes change. Have you seen anything useful? No, sadly. I do not have the look of one of the elven servants, or I might well be invisible. I wonder how masked men live their lives without ever seeing that servants have an entire society of their own. If you want to find something useful, I would pay attention to what the servants do. Have you encountered any trouble with the nobles? The Orlesians do not quite know what to make of me. I have kept to myself for fear of giving them some purchase to cling to. The food and drink are excellent, however, and the servants have been happy to refill my glass. I'll be back. And well. Does anyone really think the war will end? Yes, Pat. Hmm. Well, that's useful. I 
I should look around. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life if not fight for his destiny? Have you noticed anything strange this evening? My niece, Rorian, hasn't spoken to me all evening. That's not like her. What can you tell me about the Civil War? If you are hoping for insight, you've come to the wrong man. It's war. It is brutal and terrible and sometimes necessary. There's nothing more to say. Another time, my lord. My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Selene is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. I need an alliance, not a conditional promise. Her Majesty believes in the Inquisition. She is determined to show her support. And she will do so. She is Andraste's faithful servant. She will outmaneuver Gaspar. There can be no doubt. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. You must be mistaken. No, I'm quite certain it was blood on the tiles. If they're playing the game, they're not doing it very well. You don't leave evidence if you play to win. With Gaspard and that elf woman here, the only one playing to win is Celine. You only say that because you fancy the Empress's pet apostate. It sickens me to think of the chaos those Maleficarum are causing across the Empire. Even you cannot deny that the Templars abandoned the faithful in their darkest hour. How can you condone that? They are the ones who should be brought to heel, if you ask me.
nights, Gaspar will ruin us all. Gaspar is wasting us. Inquisitor Lavellon, is there something I can do for you? I am Lady Marcelette, court historian to Her Imperial Majesty. Good evening, Lady Marcelette. Another time, perhaps. Inquisitor Lavellon, don't head into the servant's wing if you value your neck. Not one else gone in there tonight and come out again. Our man was supposed to make a pickup in the garden hours ago. Bastards are likely dead by now. Did you hear what Gaspar said to Duke Germain? This way is closed. Please, use the main entrance to the bull. this Did I see you talking to Duke Cyril de Montfort? Does anyone really think tonight. the war will end tonight? Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Awfully selfish of this, Philippe. Running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. The night of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the Council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Rand. You are too kind, Inquisitor. That's useful. That would be the second bell. It's fashionably late now. Have we here the leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith, delivered from the grasp of the fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the arcane. You have been very busy this evening, 
hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I don't know. Do we? <laughs> you are being coy. I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me to speak first, then. Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. I may find the time to try a door or two. Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Qualified arsehole stops to kill a cook. Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Whoever did this ought to be down here somewhere.
got to be something here. This was no servant. What was he doing here? This guy's way too fancy to belong down here. What's his story? The crest of the Chalon family. Duke Gaspard will answer for this. Time to have a word with the Duke. Venatory agents! We're watching this approach. They're organized.
The Empress can't give up her pretty things. Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Lavellan. Slamming in the servants' quarters with the rest of your people, for once. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Ambassador, is it? Whose ambassador are you, exactly? If the nobility is going to treat elves as if we are not citizens, we may as well have the trappings of a foreign power. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easygoing for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I would consider such an alliance. We can help each other, Inquisitor. We are both outsiders here, after all. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. More politics than double dealing. Is there anyone here who is not corrupt? Call it politics or the game or whatever. That's personal hate. Huh.
Head back to the ballroom. We'll handle this. Interesting. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. Yes, and? I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Really? But... Well, I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. How do things look out there? Are the negotiations over yet? Yes, far is wasting his time. Nothing he does could win over the goods. Is it my imagination? Or are there more inquisition on the goods now? you spied better than the rest of the graces chamberlain has disappeared as usual mean about interesting to choose Germain. She's own. Too long since I've had any word from Valroyo. Is it 
An eye on the Duke. He's preparing for something major. Inquisitor Lavellon. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Why am I not at all surprised that you want to see me now? This is Orlé, Inquisitor. Nothing happens by accident. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. Have the Dalish gained a sudden passion for politics? What do you know about our civil war? I know as much as I need. Such wit and vivacity. You dazzle me. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. And I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. It's a relief to do something other than fight demons and horrors. 
You still face demons and horrors. These ones are simply better dressed. Were you dancing with Duchess Florian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morgan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. I like where this is going. I don't. If Corypheus succeeds... What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing, that he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. I made a fascinating discovery. An elven locket in the Empress's vault. Oh dear. That is very interesting. I'll get Her Majesty. Inquisitor, I regret that we did not have time to speak earlier. No doubt you have questions about many things. The locket I found. It was a gift from Briala, wasn't it? She gave it to me for my coronation. I don't know why I kept it. It was a foolish thing to do. Maybe you kept it because you still care for Briala. Perhaps I do. But I cannot put her above all the people of my empire. Dispose of the locket however you like. It means nothing to me. How many of the guests have mistaken you for a kitchen servant? You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? I found an elven locket hidden among Selene's things. This isn't yours, is it? Let me see that. She kept this. What was she thinking? If Gaspard had found this, it would have ruined her. It might have meant something to her. Maybe it did. She held on to it. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. Another time, Inquisitor. Where has that servant gone? Elves! Always shut 
You have such beautiful hair. Look at Lady Cambion's slippers. Trimmed with pearls. And emeralds. And those buckles. Toss her into the lake and she'll sink right to the bottom. What a disaster. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose, and you're concerned about buckles? On shoes? Everyone needs a hobby. Besides, you can learn a great deal about a person from their clothing. Gold and jewels on a dancing slipper. A slipper is easily lost, and finds itself in the dust and dirt. She is unconcerned with the possibility of losing the shoe or soiling it. A vulgar display of wealth. But Lady Cambian's family has recently lost most of its holdings. They have their title, but little else. So, how did Cambian acquire such a grand shoe, hmm? What has she done? Who has she bedded? These are all useful questions, no? I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. I would love to hear about your tiny cup. It's been too long since I've had any work. Grace has changed as usual. You'll be bored the second you step past it. Or all the glories out of I cannot believe you danced four times with Cyril de Montfort. Interesting. Just gossip. Did you need something? Did I hear correctly? If you're interested in bringing the Templars to heal, you may have found an ally. If that's true, I would welcome an alliance with the Inquisition. I will get in touch with your Lady Nightingale. I have assets that might benefit your cause. Gentlemen. It's been too long since I've had any word from Valoyo.
The reports from the Minratis Ambassadoria are particularly disturbing. Where are they getting them? What a lot. Do you see any of them? Boring. After room and for what? Ruffle storage. Real useful. Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody. It's all right now. You're safe. Safe? I don't know if I believe in safe anymore. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. If there's a reason you distrust Briala, I want to hear it. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. She probably did send you to your death. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Knew it. I did. And I bet the hate made it feel real good. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. What's this then? Swapping all the gold leaf with diamonds, I bet. You paid it, Orlesian asshole! When I get out of this, I'll put you like the pig you
What happened? It's not what it looks like. Honestly, I would have preferred it if it were what it looks like. The Empress led me to believe I would be rewarded for betraying the Grand Duke. This was not what I hoped for. How did you betray Gaspard? The Empress beguiled me into giving her information about plans for troop movements in the palace tonight. She knows everything. Everything. The Duke's surprise attack has been countered before it ever began. She's turned it into a trap. The moment he strikes, she'll have him arrested for treason. <laughs> she'll be all prim, but here's you with your bits out. <laughs> I don't know which is worse, Celine for using such a tactic or him for falling for it. I'll protect you from Gaspard if you're willing to testify about Celine's trap. I'll do anything, anything. Do they even like being so? Like they are. Ugh. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my bait. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment, if you're looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. You're not being kind, Florian. He's got to get used to disappointment. But not today, I think. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Celine myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master.
Uh, trust his tits. What was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? Good eye. Those were definitely demons. Maker, bless me. Demons? How could there be demons in the fucking Winter Palace? I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me the fucking horrors over a damn bill. Tell me everything you know. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlé. Sticky, punsy cheesemongers. I need you to tell that to the Empress. Impressively ruthless of Gaspard, if predictable. We're after one assassin, right? Should the rest just queue up? Gaspard's methods are thuggish. You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it.
thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Grand Duchess is the assassin. Don't let her anywhere near the Empress. Duchess? At once, Inquisitor. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. Lords and ladies, as a nation, we mourn our sons and daughters, brothers and sisters, friends and lovers claimed by war. The sky is torn open. Our divine is dead, and many fear the end of all things comes upon us. Orlé must stand as a bastion, a bulwark behind which all Fidas may take shelter. So has it stood for a thousand years. So shall it ever stand. This would not have been possible without the efforts of many. Dear cousin, please step forward. Grand Duchess, stand down. at every turn. You've taken the moment of my victory and left me in disgrace. And now you've chased a defenseless woman into the garden. Are you proud of yourself? You were about to murder the Empress. We both know you're not defenseless. True, you never were one to fall for my helpless damsel act. The night is still young. All I need to recover is to kill you, Inquisitor. So good of you to attend my soiree.
Marco's sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spymaster. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Every one of you is implicated. You all conspired to allow this to happen. That's a bold claim, Inquisitor. Are you prepared to defend it? You allowed the Grand Duke to sneak soldiers in, hoping he'd make a politically foolish move. That's duplicitous. Even for you, Celine. You took the bait. I met your mercenary captain, Your Grace. He says you are ready to attack tonight. Clever move. If you were trying to get hanged for treason. And Briallo was playing both of you. She murdered your ambassadors and sent you each forged letters. Even if I did, you can't touch me. No one will defend you once it's revealed that you and Celine were lovers when she burned Halam Shiral's alienage. You've made your point. What do you want? I beat you all at your great game. You work for me now. We'll see how long this lasts. I cannot believe you want to make a speech. This is foolish. We have no choice. The nobility requires an answer for what happened. <laughs> Unless you want to pretend the war was all a dream. That would go over well. No more dithering. We make the cut swift and clean. Kindest to all of us. Lords and ladies of the court, we are pleased to announce that an accord has been reached. Our cousin Gaspar will now hold a place of honor in our cabinet. <laughs> Friends, we assembled are the leaders of the Empire. We must set the example for all Thedas. We cannot be at war with each other, while the Fade itself challenges our borders. We must stand united or surely we will fall alone. Get ready to march your troops into battle. The real war begins now. But tonight, we celebrate the arrival of peace. Let the festivities commence! The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news, as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Celine wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. Things went according to plan for once. I couldn't be happier. Tonight was a triumph. You should be proud. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Would you care to dance with me, Lady Josephine? I would love to, my lady. 